for the Madden 17 Challenge Final is coming your way. And Beast Mode Mac will kick it off to Skimbo. And he goes for a squib? Question mark. But let's give you a little backstory on that. It's because Skimbo in this tournament has returned four kickoffs for touchdowns. Skimbo's special teams have certainly been special, and you can see right out the gate, Beast Mode Mac respects the number one player in the world, goes for the squib kick to prevent any type of kick return. That's some respect. He gives him the ball at the 40-yard line, though. That, I mean, for a guy that can move the ball down the field quickly and in bunches, might be a mistake. Well, let's tell you about Skimbo. He's the number one passer in the tournament at 206 yards, and here we go. Get ready, folks. And just like that, he goes to Chad Johnson, on a great pass from the campus hero, Colt McCoy. That's the college version of the former Longhorn. Yeah, we are playing draft champions here in Madden right, now, NFL 17 see. Challenge here. That's where you can build your roster with current players and past legends as well. So bunch formation. You're going to see this formation a lot out of Skimbo, if not 100% of the time. And he lets it fly. Went through the hands of Johnson and almost nearly picked off. Yeah, and what you're going to see time and time again throughout this tournament is pressure off either the left side of the field or the right side of the field. Right here, this defender coming off the edge. Watch for him. Skimbo needs to block a tight end or halfback to pick the pressure up. So third and four at the 46-yard line. Started the drive at the 40. McCoy has a man in right through his hands. Great defense on the back end by Beast Mode back. Yeah, and Skimbo did a phenomenal job of keeping his tight end in there to pick up that pressure. And we're already getting our first fourth down. These players go for it in these situations because there's fewer possessions than you see on Sundays. That's a unicorn in Madden to ever see them punt the football. Johnson to the left, and there's Pryor with a little bit of motion on fourth and four. Biggest play of the drive and can't get rid of it. And so the gamble to squib it pays off for Beast Mode Mac. He's now got the ball. And here you can see pressure off that right edge. He wasn't able to pick it up, and now you can see the fir uh, forced throw and now you get a turnover on down. So Beast Mode, Mac, tip the old ball cap there, coming out on this one. Well, he's got Tony Romo as his quarterback, and that's the cool thing. You talked about it. You draft these players, and you can set up pretty much your ultimate team. Great handoff. And that'll move it to the 44. Give you a little scattering report on his offense. He's about balanced. He throws it at 127 yards through the air, and he's rushed at right at 100 yards to the ground. Second and eight. First possession of the game. Four and out. Can't go any better. Romo has time. Throws off his back foot. He's got a little bit of room. And he takes it to the 33-yard line. And speaking with Skimbo before this game started, he was preparing, uh, practicing for uh, facing this matchup here against Beastmo. And he said on first down, he gets really aggressive with his defense because he anticipates run. So here is a first down. We'll see what Skimbo does. Ball at the 33, goes through the air, and has a man wide open, and he'll break a tackle, and that's Allen Robinson from the Jacksonville Jaguars, will pick up the first down. And as this drive develops, I want to point out Landon Collins on Skimbo's defense. He's over here on the right side of the field. You can see right over there, Absolute Landon beast. Collins will be causing yeah. problems in that right flat all game. He's a guy that can really come up and lay the lumber. Ball to 22, right outside the red zone. And here comes the blitz. And that's a big time sack and a loss of nine. Skimbo setting pressure off the right edge. You can see the halfback misses the blocking assignment. And just like that, we get into a second and long situation. This is where you need to really go to a check down pattern to get into a manageable third down spot. The ball to 30. After the loss of nine. Coming up on three minutes to go in the quarter. We're here in the Madden 17 Challenge Final. Gets rid of it, has to check it down, and Skimbo doing a nice job playing some defense. No yards gained, third and 19. And once again, he dials up a blitz off that right edge. Beast Mode's going to need to keep a halfback in, or he needs to flip his formation. He ideally, watch for pressure right here. Pressure off that left edge. Beast Mode's going to need to keep the halfback in the block. Big third down, third and long for Beast Mode Mac, the man from Kansas City, who's won eight straight in the tournament to get to the final. He has to just throw it away. Skimbo, he blitzes 91% of the time, 
And on third down, that was no different. Yeah, and why not? If you can get your opponent into a bad situation, it's a good idea. Field goals are so very important. And here is Chris Boswell. It'll be a 47-yarder. And it's right down Main Street. And Beast Mode Mac, the underdog, has cracked the scoreboard. You have to feel good with the way this game is starting. If you're Beast Mode Mac, we'll see if he transitions to the squib kick once again to prevent the kick return that we saw from Skimbo. Over the course of a game, that might be a strategy that could backfire, but he goes with it again here. Scooped up by Green. That's Virgil Green. And the ball will be placed at the 39-yard line, and that's where the drive will start for Skimbo, trailing by three. You know, it could be a, the, the idea to do that squib is you know Skimbo's going to pu put the ball down the field and, and move it quickly, so why not just give him a short field and see if you can get him out the field and make a mistake? So first and 10 from the 39, the second possession for Skimbo, and he hits Coleman out of the backfield. So far in this one, two for five passing for Skimbo. It's been difficult for him to move the ball. He's in second short. A lot of times you can see quick streaks in the middle of the field. Great place to target, and your halfback underneath are great options here as well. Of course, Telvin Coleman from the NFC champion, Atlanta Falcons, and here comes McCoy. Has Terrell Pryor! And Pryor scoots down to the 14-yard line. Skimbo's in the red zone. A vertical passing concept, that means he's running receivers downfield, stretching the defense vertically rather than sideline to sideline right there. The reason you do that is the most ways these competitive players play defense is they play a cover two to protect the short area of the field. 90 seconds to go in the first. McCoy swings it out quickly. Coleman! Makes a man miss and then says, get off of me with a stiff arm. And Skimbo has our first touchdown of the game. Yeah, and off a missed tackle there in that short flat. Skimbo, an expert at going to the check down patterns, taking what the defense gives you. He's been averaging 246 yards per game here in the tournament. And the extra point is up and good. Take a look at it again. There's Coleman right there, quick little stiff arm in the end zone, and he's going to punch it in for six, and Skimba knows how big that touchdown is for his confidence, for his success in this game here against Beast Mode. Stefan Diggs will call for the fair catch, and Beast Mode Mac will start his second drive at the 25-yard line. Yeah, I want to see him get into a rhythm here. Let's see, first down, Skimbo usually says he sniffs, sniffs out runs on these situations, so he gets really aggressive with his defensive play call. But watch this defender off that right edge. That's where a blitz might be coming. It's worth noting, Skimbo's had 10 takeaways in this tournament. He's plus eight in turnover differential. Force the tempo is what you need to do, and that's why Skimbo, all those turnovers plus uh, in the plus uh, department there working out for his squad. If you just join us, we're in the Madden 17 Challenge. We're here in the finals with Beast Mode Mac as the Kansas City Chiefs. And Skimbo, the number one player on the ladder right now, leading by four. Scott Cole, Stephen Gibbons along with you here on the NFL Network. Winner takes home 50,000 and plus 1,000 series points. Of course, these guys are making their way toward the championship in May. Second place will take home 30,000 and 700 points. So a lot on the line here. Tell you what, I wouldn't be too bad, too upset if I was taking home $50,000 tonight. One of these winners. Part of the million dollar prize pool. Here in this Madden Major Series Championships. We're gonna be looking forward to that championship coming up in May, but the challenge is the focus tonight. And on second and 11, bunch formation for Tony Romo. Controlled by Beast Mode Mac. In that first down run, he was able to sniff out, get a one yard loss on that first play. Check, check, check. 15 seconds left in the quarter, a little handoff. And he spins his way to the 45 yard line. Four carries for 22 yards. And right there, you already the first run, second run, Skimbo starting to sniff out the run game. So at the end of the quarter, we got a 7-3 game. Skimbo with the lead, but we got a long way to go. Don't go anywhere. It's the Madden 17 Challenge Final.
from Los Angeles, California. Welcome back to the Madden Challenge Final. First quarter's in the books. Skimbo up 7-3 on Beast Mode. I'm Tyler Coe, joined by Rico Williams and, of course, Maurice Jones-Drew. All right, gentlemen, first quarter in the books. Early thoughts? It looks like both players got the rust off, but Skimbo has already jumped in his offense. He looks like he's clicking on all cylinders. Could be a long day for Beast Mode. Well, you talked. we heard what Gibbs said early on about Beast Mode having to score points. We saw how quick... Uh, Skimbo scored. He has to figure out a way to stop him and get more than just three on his possession. All right, well, let's see if he can do that. Let's go ahead and send it back to the casters. Scott Cole and Stephen Gibbs take it away for the second quarter. Thank you so much, gentlemen. He went in a 7-3 to three game. Beast Mode Mac using some interesting strategies, but Skimbo just doing what Skimbo does. Yeah, and, and I'm really concerned about all of these squib kicks that we're seeing from Beast Mode, but he's got an important drive here, third and five situation, third and short, very manageable. See how he targets the short part of the field. Watch for Fitzgerald on a deep post over the middle of the field right there. Everyone loves Larry. Here's third and five. Bunch formation for Romo. Tony with time. That's a throw it in the flats, and there's Collins. You talked about his hit potential, and that play went nowhere. You gotta be very careful throwing in that right flat. All game long, be very, very careful, Beast Mode Mac. Landing Collins is a game changer off of that right side of the field. Biggest playmaker on Skimbo's defense. So a fourth and five, and it's Madden football, so we're going for it. Ball at the 44. Biggest play of the game thus far for Beast Mode Mac. Quick throw out, and he'll get past the marker and pick up the first down, but that's what we talked about. Although the fumble goes out of bounds, Landon Collins is going to be there. And once again, you can see Collins, he gets the big hit, causes the fumble for Beast Mode Mac. It goes out of bounds. That's okay. That's lucky. We didn't see the pass distribution right here. Skimbo zero rushes, seven passes. Beast Mode. Five rushes, five passes, so very balanced. Skimbo's forced 10 takeaways in this tournament. And Beast Mode Mac has turned the ball over five times. Nice throw over the middle. Fitzgerald fighting for yards and gets to the 36. It's a first down for Beast Mode Mac. Nice play to get yourself closer to field goal range here. You start feeling comfortable when you get to the 30-yard line in this game. That's where you want to try and get into range to kick field goals. Romo, this time, has time. Looking downfield, and he's going to go back to Fitzgerald, who holds on. Gain of nine, it's second and inches. This is a Madden player's dream come true, second and in inches. Your whole playbook is open up for you. You can run the ball, you can pass. A lot of times you see players will target, again, that deep middle of the field. That's a big time place to throw the ball off a play action pass. Both these players undefeated thus far in the tournament. That's how they got here, both 8-0. And, and another quick throw, and Collins. You're playing with fire, my man. It is dangerous over there. And yeah, that's three times he's now looked to that right flat. Uh, that right flat has is, is been working for him. But the more you go there, the more opportunities you give that Landon Collins, who's playing down in that short part of the field, he's going to have to make a big play for Skimbo's defense. Yeah, New York Giant fans know him all too well. Really big time hitter in the secondary. Shotgun formation. A good job working through the line, has some room, and it will fall forward, and they'll mark him down at the 10-yard line. It's first and 10, not first and goal at the 10. Yeah, first down, no surprise here. Beast mode, the script says he likes to run on first downs. He does a great job there, moves the chains, and now we get into the most difficult part of the field to score in the red zone area. Game becomes a horizontal approach rather than a vertical approach. Well, some call it the red zone, and Madden, I call the final 10 yards the dead zone. Robinson to the left, and they go back to the running game, and this time Skimbo's ready for it, and he'll pick up one yard. Absolutely nowhere to go. No running lanes open right there for Beast Mode Mac. Now, great option here in the, in the pass game. Back of the end zone, you want to get the ball to one of your big receivers, the only place where they can catch it. Safeties have pinched into the middle of the field, and you got Allen Robinson. Solo to the left. Digs in the slot, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So seven to three. Beast mode trailing by four, but he is on a drive at the nine-yard line. Yeah, and he likes to control the game with the, the run game. He's averaging about 100 yards 
100 yards a game on the ground, so really imposing his will on the line of scrimmage here. Romo, another quick throw, tries to turn the corner. It'll be wrapped up at the three-yard line. You can see Romo, 9 of 10, very efficient here in the first half. Well, we're seeing a, a game between two players here where it, they're really still feeling each other out. You're not seeing uh, Bismo be really aggressive in this situation. He's taking all these check down patterns so far in this one. So third and three. Ball at the three. Play clock is running down for Romo. And a play action and they overthrows him in the end zone. A beautiful play call in Romo, ouch. And he was wide open in the back of the end zone here. You can see the play action fake. Skimbo commits his entire defense to the run. Tony Romo sails it out of the back of the end zone. So he'll have to settle for three. And that makes it a one point game with 1.22 to go. He squibbed the first two kickoffs because Skimbo has really been tough in the return game. And he'll bring it out with Tevin Coleman. And this time, Beast Mode doing a nice job defending the return. And he'll start the drive at the 24-yard line. Both have all three timeouts. And it's been a bit of a back and forth. The difference is Skimbo has got seven. Yeah, but Beast Mode's been able to control the clock with the ground game to really prevent Skimbo to have any opportunities to put points up on the scoreboard. And Sanu this time holds on to it at the 43-yard line as he did all year long for the Atlanta Falcons. Comes through for Skimbo at the 43. Holt McCoy. Throwing it up the sideline and Johnson can't get his feet in bounds. Potential big play right there down that sideline. You can see delivers the ball. Chad Johnson tries to toe tap his feet there. Unable to get his feet in bounds for the big catch. They do have booth reviews and challenges. They throw it to Pryor and a nice job on the defense. And that's going to bring up a third and 10 with 55 seconds to go in the half. Nice user play right there by Beast Mode back. And what we mean by user, it's where your opponent is literally controlling their defensive player over the middle of the field. Watch that defender. He's controlling him virtually. Skimbo has yet to run the ball. And he'll put it to the air again. And a lucky deflection. That somehow is picked up by Chad Johnson, the legend, the former Bingle. He's down to the 38-yard line. A little bit of luck on Skimbo's side right there. Not, not bad. Tip drill. Chad Johnson comes down with it. Back to the air again. Rolling left with Colt McCoy. Can't get his feet in bounds. And boy, Skimbo has been in this situation so many times as yet to come out on top, tonight's his chance. Yeah, he's been converting here in the second, uh, first half, late in first half, all tournament long, scoring here at the end of the halves. And a stiff arm by Virgil Green, and he gets out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And just like that, he's in field goal range. We'll have Maurice Jones Drew join us at halftime, and his buddy, Josh Scobie, is the kicker for, for Skimbo. Third and two. McCoy. And he throws an interception. Not only is that a turnover by Shields, nice job stepping in, but that's going to take points off the board. I'll tell you what, in eight games Skimbo has played thus far in this Madden Challenge tournament, he's only given away the ball two times. That is a big mistake for him on that drive when he was already in scoring range. Huge opportunity now for Bismo to take advantage of all three timeouts. Yeah, his turnover's now going to three. He's had such an advantage in the turnover ratio. We're talking about a lot in the first half. But you get him to the finals. You know, he had a big semifinal, one huge, over True Boy, who's a top five player. Maybe a little bit trying to settle in. These guys, it's sort of a cat and mouse game here in the first half. Second and eight. Beast Mode Mack, the man from Kansas City, repping the Chiefs here. He's got two timeouts at his disposal. Throws off his back foot again. And Moore comes in with a big hit. And he will use one of those two timeouts. Got a good halftime coming up for you here. 
from the Madden Challenge. Tyler Rico Williams and my main man, Maurice Jones Drew, former All Pro running back, go, will join us at the desk. Check, check, check. We got it, we got it, we got it. Third and four. Motion Robinson across the formation. Play action. Has time. Throws it short, and Larry Fitzgerald will step out of bounds at the 44 yard line. So he got one timeout. Clock is stopped at the 44. Maybe a few more plays, try to get in to field goal range. If not, take it to pay dirt. Yeah, what you're gonna wanna do here if you're Beast Mun Mac, you want to run some vertical patterns upfield here. So you run Walford here, you run your receiver here, and then you can run a post behind it over the middle of the field to get some clearance, pull those deep safeties downfield, get an open pass towards the sideline. Trips to the left, it's Cheryl in motion. Here comes the heat, gets rid of it, throws it to coverage, and it's picked off. And he just might take this to the house. But wrapped up, Romo having to make a tackle at the 39. And I'll tell you what, pressure burst pipes and pressure off that left edge. Forced an early throw by Beast Mode Matt. Gimbo taking advantage of the opportunity. Now he is looking to put points up at the end of this half. So has two timeouts, nine seconds here. He's got to be quick with this first pass. Maybe look run here, but you got to get the ball quick to give yourself a chance for a field goal. Well, Romo threw the interception, but he might have saved a touchdown with that tackle. Quick throw to Green. And he has some room. He's got tightrope to the 19, and you got to take the points. Yeah, you got to take the points here. The, the likelihood to convert on a touchdown from this part of the field, very difficult. This will also make it a four-point game. And he takes a deep breath. And a lot of times the reason they do this is because you can time that snap and get a block. But this one, it's true. It's through the uprights. And Skimbo with the lead, 10-6 to six in this one. We got our halftime report coming up. Don't go anywhere. Skimbo has the lead, 10-6 to six over Beast Mode Mac. Welcome back to the Madden Challenge Final. Halftime here, Skimbo up 10 to six over Beast Mode. Welcome back to the Madden Challenge. I'm Tyler Coe, Rico Williams, and MJD. Guys, first half in the books, miscues by both of the players. You know, what did you guys see there in this first half? Just like it is in regular football, turnovers were killed drives. You have guys, uh, Skimbo going down the field, turns the ball over on a, on a late pick. Then you have Beast Mode go down, throws an Aaron deep ball, gets a pick, then gives momentum back to the other side. You don't want to turn the ball over because possessions mean so much in Madden. When Skimbo had his turnover, I think he just literally didn't see Beast Mode there. But whereas on defense, Skimbo's been all over everything Beast Mode's throwing. That's a tough way to make a living. If this continues, look for Skimbo to pull away in the the second half. Well, let's go ahead and find out what Beast Mode's going to do in the second half to try and overcome the deficit. Let's go down to Dave Grumfeld with Beast Mode. That's right. Thanks, Tyler. Beast Mode, a pretty solid first half there. What's it been like playing on a stage like this against one of the biggest names in Madden? Um, it's a good feeling. Uh, he's a great opponent, but uh, he's getting really lucky in offense. I'm playing great defense. Well, you're going to keep that uh, great defense carrying on to the second half. What other adjustments do you need to make going into that second half? I just keep playing defense the way I am, and I got to turn these field goals into the touchdowns. Awesome. Start converting. Sounds good. Tyler, back to you and the guys. Good luck, Beast Mode. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate that. Hey, guys, don't miss out on your chance to watch the final eight competitors battle for the NFL Club Series Championship on April 15th. For more information on that, visit NFL.com slash Madden hyphen NFL. And guess what? We've teamed up with Xbox to give away a new Xbox One S. Head over to at EA Sports underscore MUT and look for the pinned entry tweet and retweet it to enter. All right, folks. One more half to go. Who's going home with the title? We find out. Stay tuned here on the NFL Network. Welcome back to the Madden 17 Challenge from a beautiful, gorgeous night here in Los Angeles. And we got some good Madden football going on. Welcome back inside the action. Scott Cole along with Steven Gibbons. And I tell you what, it has been absolutely an amazing first half action here as we move to the third quarter. 
Can't wait for this second half to start. It's going to be an absolute amazing matchup. You got Beast Mode Mac, who's been playing phenomenal to get to this point here, and then you got your, your man Skimbo ready to win his first championship ever. I tell you what, we're, you know, we're so cute here that the makeup <laughs> girls, they want to come around I us, they want to power more. us up. Always need more makeup. They want to get close to the action as we are, but we're, we're as close as it gets. And let's be honest, we're looking absolutely handsome this afternoon. You look looking bad yourself there, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> been a great day of Madden football. We've been going all day, and now we've moved into the evening. And it's the third quarter. It's a four-point game. And a nice pass there by Beast Mode, and he'll move to the 46. Really important for Beast Mode to get out here and put some points on the scoreboard that are not field goals here because Skimbo is going to be putting up points in a hurry in the second half. So Romo goes back to work. First and 10, he's gonna go deep. Lucky. That, that just falls harmlessly to the turf as his receiver turned and basically just knocked it away. Yeah, and once again, Skimboat's starting to dial up the pressure here. I like that Beast Mode didn't run the ball there on first down, breaks it, break it against that script that we are so accustomed to seeing him on first downs. So a nice run here. Take it to the 48, third and four. And you know what? This is Beast Mode Max game. You can see how calm he is. He likes to run the football, eat up the clock, really limit the possessions of a powerful offense like Skimbo has. You see 12 completions so far on 15 attempts for only 95 yards for Beast Mode. That's because he's checking down to flat patterns all game long. He needs to start attacking vertically. So Romo now trying to throw. They can't hold it that long, my friend. You got time, but you don't have that much time. Add some hot pressure off that right edge, and now we get into a fourth and manageable situation. You see all these players in Madden games, they go for it in these spots. Not as many opportunities, not as many possessions you see on Sunday. Here we go, here we go. So fourth and four from the 48. Check, check, check. Go on, go on, go on. Here's some motion. Romo. Big conversion if he can hold on, and he does at the 19. That was huge. Great strike down the field. Time in the pocket, you can see, he hits the streaking Stefan Diggs for a big first down right there. Gets him inside the 20-yard line, and now Beast Mode Mac is in the groove. 50,000 on the line here. This is a million-dollar prize pool throughout the season, and the winner tonight will take a share of 50,000. 50,000 for them. And 30 for second place. But nobody wants second place. They come here for the belt, the pride, and the cash. Yeah, nice defense right there from the safety play from Skimbo. Stefan Diggs, not necessarily the guy you want to target there. It doesn't have all the height. You can see he tries to go up and make a spectacular catch with one hand. Doesn't come down with it. You know, I really want to see Beast Mode get back into the run game here. That's where he's been able to control the clock, control the line of scrimmage. Got to get back to the run if you're Beast Mode. So second and 10, it just gets so tough down here in the red zone, especially in Madden 17. And he throws it quickly to the flats, makes a man miss, but Moore is there to stop him at the 14, third and five. Skimbo really starting to dial up the pressure in this one. Beastmo, no real answer to pick up his pass protection, get it right here, keeps dumping the ball off the short flat. At some point, you throw late in the flat, bad things can happen. So third and five from the 14. He'll throw it to the flats once again. And he's picked up a first down and Skimbo frustrated with this drive. Yeah, and that's once again, you can see Beast Mode is, is conceding and throwing to that short part of the field, the, the flat. He's taking that uh, short option. And Skimbo knows that at some point, one of his defenders will be able to jump the ball and make a big play. A little bit of a stretch run. Makes a man miss. Had a man. Had him in his grasp and able to stiff arm him and get to the two yard line. First and goal. Yeah, a lot of running lanes open on that one, and then you can see the hole just closed up right there. So a second down from the two. He comes out in the goal line formation. He cannot make any headway with a QB sneak. Don't want to settle for a field goal here. You really need to take the lead. Yeah, and you see a lot of time these guys go for quarterback sneaks in this part of the field. Try to convert with your quarterback. 
it up into the interior of the defense, but now it comes out in a, a potential halfback toss. He's already burned three minutes off the clock here in the third and spins into the end zone, and the underdog takes the lead. Beautiful spin move right there by Crowell to get into the end zone there, and that's the drive that Beast Mode needed there to get back on top of this one. So the all-important extra point. And it is true, and it's a field goal lead. Look at this spin cycle right there. Whoop! Right into the end zone, and Skimbo knows. Missed opportunity there on the goal line. Wasn't able to get his defense to stand up. Buchanan was there, that he got thrown off of him at the goal line. It works in for the score. So we've seen two squibs, and we've seen him kick it deep once. Now make it twice. Angle it toward the sideline, and here comes Coleman. He'll be knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line, and that's where Skimbo will take over, trailing by three. And what makes Skimbo so difficult to defend for those of you watching at home? He does a great job of giving himself underneath patterns. Typically, what you're going to see is Coleman will leak out of the backfield to the left side of the field here, and then he likes to run deep streaks in the middle of the field, gives him both short and deep options on every pass play. McCoy can't get rid of it in time. Just eight of 16. Very uncharacteristic for Skimbo. He's most doing a great job of bringing pressure off the right side of the field. Skimbo not keeping his tight end in to block. A misplay he will, but that's where you're seeing the pressure develop against his offense here, forcing early throws. McCoy on second and 10. Pump fakes and lets it go to Johnson. And Johnson cannot hold on. And it's been a rough one for Skimbo thus far. Eight completions out of 16 attempts, one touchdown, and let me remind you, one interception he had in that first half. So here comes a big third down, trailing by three. Able to pick up the blitz, but throws it into coverage. Lucky that that one wasn't picked off. And here we go. What you're seeing Beast Mode do is he's actually manning up a linebacker to play underneath Chad Johnson. Oh, and you see this linebacker right here, he drops him into play coverage against Chad Johnson as well. Here's a huge fourth down at the 34. 139 left in the third. Skimbo needs it. He's got good pressure. Got to get rid of it. He does. And Skimbo scratching his head, trying to figure out this defensive beast mode back. Yeah, and you saw it there again. You can see that he, uh, beast mode is double teaming, and that's triple teaming Chad Johnson. Really knows that's, that's where Skimbo wants to go with the ball. Great defensive stop there from Beast. And we've seen this in the finals. You see high scoring offenses, all of a sudden things get a little tighter in a final. And this one's completed down to the 13. Boy, if he could go up 10 here, he'd be feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's a big thing to be. You can hear the emotion from Skimbo. You can hear the big sigh right there. He understands how important this possession is right here for Beast Mode. Skimbo brings his safeties down. A little bit of audible. And Romo will go to the air, rolling to the right, has a man. And how important is Isaiah Crowell for Beast Mode, Matt. It's been the workhorse for him. I mean, he's controlling the line of scrimmage. I, I love the way he's slowing the pace of this game down here. Second and six, got a minute to go in this third quarter. He had a run, a big run earlier in the uh, first half out of this formation as well. Goes back to it, but Skitmo does a good job plugging it up. So now we're under a minute in the third. It's a big third and seven incoming. Ball in the 10-yard line, you, you don't look to run the ball in this situation. Where you try to go is, but can I get my tight end in the back of the end zone in that area? Can I get my halfback out in the short flat, make a, make a defender miss and get in the end zone? Motion across the formation. Tony Romo. Reaches for the first down. He's gonna be just shy. He's gonna be fourth and two. Talk about all Tony Romo's arm strength to deliver that ball just in time, right in front of two defenders. Now we got a big spot here, fourth and two. It, you don't feel good kicking a field goal here because you know how Skimbo can play offensively and put points up in a hurry here in this game. I tell you who's in no hurry, that's Beast Mode Mac. He's got the lead and he's gonna let the clock run out in the third. 
And so we'll be headed to the fourth quarter. The underdog with a three-point lead here in the Madden 17 Challenge. Welcome back to the Madden Challenge Final. We enter the fourth quarter with Beast Mode Mac up on Skimbo 13 to 10. The underdog is up on the current number one ranked player in the world. Who's going to be taking home that title? Welcome back to the Madden Challenge. I'm Tyler Coe, joined by Rico Williams and MJD. Gentlemen, it is do or die time here in L.A. Absolutely. And right now, Beast Mode Mac is playing great on the defensive side of the ball. He has a fourth and two. He needs to take those three, base Gimbo, score a touchdown, and he might be able to bring it home. I can't believe you said that. I may look young, but I'm from the old school. You got a chance to have the number one player on the ropes. You go and you put your foot on his throat and you score right now. You go for it. Three gives you nothing. You All he does is score and he's up by one. You go for the uh, score, a touchdown, you're up by 10, game over. But if he gets stopped, he might be in trouble. You're playing with house's money. Scared man never made no money over here. That's why we play the game. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and find out. We're going to send it back to the casters for the fourth quarter of the Madden Challenge Final. Guys, take it away. Thank you, gentlemen. I told you, MJD's my guy. Yeah. I agree with him there. Listen, you're playing Mike Skimbo right now. You got to put points on the scoreboard. You got to go for a touchdown here. Well, all comes down to this. Five minutes left in this one. The underdog from Kansas City, Beast Mode Mac, with a three-point lead over Michael Skimbo from Claremore, Oklahoma. And he will kick the field goal to start the quarter and make it a six-point game. And it's up, and it is good. And he increases his lead to six. Hey, it's time to throw your fourth quarters up. This is it, Madden Challenge Championship on the line here between these two competitors. This is why they play the game, all the hours they put in, all the practice work, all the commitment. This is a full-time opportunity for both of these gentlemen here. And this is what they are playing all these late nights for. Beast Mode Matt, currently number eight. Barely stays in bounds. Let's see if he can make something out of it. And gets it to the 34. He was either going to be out at the three or brings it out to the 34. There's the break that maybe Skimbo needs. Uh, he's got great field position all game long, whether yeah. he's at the squibs or whether he's getting kick returns. His special teams have been absolutely amazing for him. Watch a vertical down this left sideline, Scott. Chad Johnson running right there. We're 452 away from crowning a champ. Coleman. First run of the game, and he's got some room. Tries to cut it back, and he fumbles. And the nightmare continues for Skimbo. Just one of those days you can see great blocking off the edge. Chad Johnson, and then the big time hit right there. Tevin Coleman coughs it up and puts the rock on the ground. That's two turnovers right now in this game for Skimbo. So first and 10 at the 44. He'll go back to the running game. 12 carries for 50 yards on the ground for Beast Mode Mac. When you really break down the stats here for Skimbo, in his previous eight games, he only turned the rock over twice. Already in this game, in the Madden Challenge Championship, he's turned the ball over twice. Got a six-point lead, and he's four minutes and 21 seconds away from winning 50 grand here tonight. Romo can't get rid of it. And so now Skimbo has forced a third and 10. Needs it right here. And how big is a third down and 10 spot for his defense? Look for him to send pressure off this edge. Watch for pressure off that edge. He's going to take his user defender, who he's virtually controlling, and drop over the middle of the field and protect the deep middle. Beast Mode Mac converts 56% of the time, but not this time as Collins comes up and says, hello. You are playing with fire thrown over there. You can see Beast Mode Matt, two of two in this game already for fourth down conversions. Well, he needs seven yards. Can Skimbo dig in and lock him up? Here on fourth and seven from the 47. Watch for a delayed stance of Robinson. Romo, quick throw, and Collins makes the hit so far the game. And maybe that's a ray of light for the Skimbo fans in the building. We talked about it at the top of the broadcast, all the speed, the size, the strength of a Landon Collins. That is why you put him on your roster. He closed down on that ball in the flat, made the game-saving tackle. And finds Sanu. You can't hold the man down for long. And all of a sudden, he's at the 25-yard line with 3.35 left in the game. 
There are very few opportunities in the game where you have momentum switch from your opponent to your side, and that was one of them right there for Skimbo. Coleman. He's already coughed it up once. Give that kid some Robitussin. It's been a game of turnovers thus far for Skimbo. He's got to protect the ball here in the closing minutes, but he needs a touchdown. It's a second and 10 at the 25. There's some motion to the right. Colt McCoy, that campus hero. And he throws an INT. And it's picked off in the end zone. And oh, right here my he goodness. Sails the ball up, Sanu. But George Aloka, all six foot four of him, able to get up above Sanu, gets the interception. And talk about a momentum shift of your own for Beast Mode. Back the third turnover of this game for the number one ranked player in the world. He'd only turned it over twice coming into this one in the tournament. He gets to the 29. It'll be second and one. And that clock is tick, tick, ticking away. And in these moments here, what Skimbo is thinking, what he's going through his head is, do I send pressure? Do I be, get more aggressive? Do I drop back and, and, and play coverage? And now if you're Beast Mode Mac, what's difficult about this is because you're playing with the lead. You, you have the mindset of, I want to try and run the clock out, or do you want to try and be aggressive and win the game with your offense? Goal line formation, and Skimbo matches it with a heavy front of his own on second and one. And they try to sneak it. And no. Bring up a third and one. Third and one situations, very difficult to defend against here. If you're Skimbo, the one thing you need to make sure you do, generate quick pressure on Beast Mode. Mac, you need to identify where is the halfback, send pressure away from him. I look for pressure off this edge to come in over here, force a rollout with Romo here, and a throw into coverage in this area. Cannot take it down to the two minute warning. He'll have to snap it. And he goes to the running play. And he will pick up the first down. A big play for Beast Mode Mac. And here we go. You have three timeouts to go. Two minute warning has come. Get a first down here for Beast Mode. Start looking like you could be the Madden Challenge champion. Well, we didn't talk a lot about it today, but Michael Skimbo has been ill coming in this one. Had a rough night. Just caught a bug. He's been powering through that. And right now, he really needs a stop. Yeah, and starts on that first play right there. He saves his timeout. I like that to anticipate what's going to be happening on this play. A lot of times, players will go play action, pop pass, middle of the field, try and get a, a, a quick conversion when your opponent's thinking run here. Watch the play fake, and you want to watch a digs route right, right over there in the middle of the field. We're under 90 seconds left in this one. Second and 10. High snap. Able to get rid of it. And Collins, at some point, he's going to make an impact. But he holds on third and three. I mean, you are just asking for a disaster if you're beast mode. I keep throwing over to that right flat. Landon Collins has had about four or five big hits in this matchup here. Third and three. Keeps putting it in the air. Throwing it to that right side is a big gamble, but it's been coming up sevens. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Third and three. Romo, back to the air, has a man wide open. And that'll take it to the 39. And that was gigantic. Gets the streak directly over the middle of the field. Now we're in a situation with only one timeout here for Skimbo. Ball is on the 39. We're just outside of field goal range here. If you're Beast Mode Mac, he's going to look to the quarterback kneel formation here to try and protect the ball. So 117, Skimbo down to his final timeout. And it's my favorite formation, the victory formation. And, you know, I'll tell you what, you heard uh, Maurice Jones Drew, the all pro running back, yeah. right at half. He's, what did he say? You go out and be aggressive to win a ball game. And that's what we're seeing right now from Beast Mode Mac. You see those throws there. He didn't try and run the clock out in this one. He's going out and trying to grab himself a championship. And the aggressor, the one that dictates the pace in games, is so often the one that ends up the champion. Back to the victory formation once again. And we talked about how close Michael Skimbo has come. And he's just going to come up short again unless he gets some magic moments here. 
just seconds away from crowning a new champ. Looks like it's going to be that man right there is going to walk home with a 50,000. Not only 50,000, but he's ranked eighth in the world right now. He's going to climb all the way up to rank fourth in the world as we head into the Madden Championship later in May, where $500,000 will be on the line for 32 of the best competitors in the world. And he'll take another knee. Skimbo will use his final timeout. So the bus has warmed up, but they haven't left yet. There's still an opportunity. It's you. not a... <laughs> you could get a block punt here. Anything is, is possible here. Kick return. We know how special Skimbo is with his, his, his return ability. So fourth and 14. And the underdog will punt it away. And he'll pin him at the seven-yard line. So he's got to go 93 yards in 10 seconds. An absolutely gorgeous punt. And, and, and what you're thinking here if you're Skimbo, you got one play to try and get a deep sideline pattern that then can hopefully set you up for a Hail Mary. And that's all the time you have for McCoy. And he did not get out of bounds. And we will have the champion, that man right there, Beast Mode Mac, is your Madden 17 Challenge Champion. He wins 50,000, the belt. 1,000 series points. He started this tournament on the bubble at number 38, and he's moved his way all the way up to number four. Wow. Impressive performance by that young man, Beast Mode Mac. Amazing way to win a championship. Let's go down to my main man, Dave Grunfield, with a winner. Beast Mode, you are the 2017 Madden Challenge champion. How are you feeling right now? Hey, man, it feels great. There's not a family on this world like this. <laughs> well, you took down one of the best players in the game, Skimbo and Icon. What was that game like for you? Two huge turnovers late in the fourth quarter. Walk me through those plays. I mean, I was just playing great defense, man. You know, my guys are making plays. Uh, hey, man, 50 G's richer. Let's go. <laughs> you mentioned it, 50 G's richer. That, that is no, uh, no small chunk of change. What's your plan for the money? Going to Disney World, man. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Like, like, like a, real, a real athlete, you're going to take your money, your winnings to Disneyland. That is outstanding, fantastic. Congratulations on a big win. Everybody stick around. We are going to get this man the absolute biggest and best championship belt there is in the game. Stick around. Matt Marcoux will be presenting it for him. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the Madden Challenge Final, Upset City here in LA. We have crowned a new Madden champion. Let's send it down to Dave Grunfeld, who's with our winner. Dave? Thanks a lot, Tyler. I am joined here by the Madden Competitive Gaming Commissioner, Matt Marcoux. Matt, take it away. Thanks. For 15 years, the Madden Challenge has been producing some of those spectacular Madden moments. I'd like to thank Xbox for sponsoring this weekend's moments and powering the Madden 17 Championship Series. Thank you. Matt Clark, your improbable run this weekend has brought Beast Mode back to Madden NFL. On behalf of EA Sports, I'd like to present you with the Madden Challenge title belt. Congratulations. Congratulations, Beast Mode. Tyler, back to you and the guys. All right, thank you, Dave. Congratulations to our winner, Beast Mode Mac. Thank you to Rico Williams and Maurice Jones-Drew for joining me today here on the set of Madden Challenge Football. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for everything.